crazy year. <laughs> yeah. So it started with uh, an, an, uh, a hospital visit in January. 30th birthday. <laughs> yeah, 30th uh, yeah. birthday for me <laughs> in the hospital in Thailand. Uh, <laughs> made it to the qualification for Olympic. <laughs> Olympic. Played a lot of tournaments in the fall. Yeah. <laughs> Too many tournaments. Yeah. yeah. And then ending up with the World Championship. So uh, it's been a tough year. Also really mentally. Um, low, lots of up, up and downs. and. But we keep fighting and we keep coming back and uh, yeah, it's a new year, new season. 2021 was a tumultuous year for many athletes. A stop and start season due to the COVID-19 pandemic, along with the postponed Olympic Games to contend with in the midst of that. For Denmark's Maiken Frogard and Sara Tusen, Tokyo was the stage for their Olympic debut and also where they learned some of their biggest lessons. For me, it's like the whole thing that is Olympic, that we we made it, we did it. It's it's a, a childhood dream coming true, going to the Olympics. Um, and of course, there were all these uh, restrictions about COVID-19, but, but again, to see uh, how, as a nation, that you uh, support each other, uh, the whole Denmark team in other sports, um, we followed each other and talked to other guys and girls we haven't talked to before. And I think that that small environment was really special. Um, yeah, so that is like, besides the games, uh, that is like what, yeah, what I think uh, most of um, from the Olympics. Quite nervous. <laughs> Uh, nervous to not do well on a big stage. This was, for me, was the biggest thing in the first match. Uh, yeah, just uh, afraid that we couldn't show what we know we can do uh, because of too much stiffness in the body due to nervous. <laughs> yeah, yeah I think understanding yeah. that they have been watching some videos of us yeah. and uh, really studied our game. Yeah. So we weren't really... Uh, Expecting what they came with. Really yeah, and not really ready to do something else. We adapt. didn't have a plan B because we yeah. were so nervous. So yeah, it was a little bit difficult. Yeah, they, they played really tactic good against us, uh, like they haven't played before against us. So yeah, we just got outplayed, simply as that. They played just better. I can't remember. <laughs> no, I really can't remember. <laughs> Only what do you remember of that match? The last two rallies, maybe, and we won them. So <laughs> that's it. Yeah. And the happiness inside. Yeah, it was it was amazing. Also because uh, of a really bad start against the Chinese that was like got blown away, and now we just we just came back and pushed through. Um, it was a really, really, really good feeling, and yeah, we played good. Um, normally, they are really awesome to play against the Koreans. Um, so yeah, we we're really pleased, really happy with that game. Yeah, it's hard to say because when you you are on court and you, I think that we won the match against the Korean. Did that there was more pressure on ourselves to the next one because we actually had a chance to get to the quarterfinal. So yeah. if we lost to the Koreans, I think we have been playing a little bit more freely uh, against the Australians. But uh, of course, I would like to win both. <laughs> but uh, it was, uh, I don't know, uh, the feeling was so opposite to the feeling in the Korean match. Uh, there was yeah, really tense and didn't feel like couldn't could hit the shuttle right. It was uh, just a lot of easy mistakes and stuff we really didn't do in the other match. So it was uh, really confusing in your head that you could play like that and then go on court and feel like shit two days later. It was uh, yeah really confusing uh, that that it could ha could happen so much. Uh, we know that we can play some some <laughs> bad matches. We know that, but. I didn't think that we could be so nervous. I've never tried anything like it. <laughs> I 
when you're nervous or when we are nervous, uh, it's okay and it, it is can be enough to play not safe, but you don't you cannot hit the perfect shot when you're that nervous. Then it's more like a, a fighting spirit and not being that tough on yourself that you can't hit the shuttle like you normally can. And then just go with what you can do on the day. Um, so, so that thing I think we, we try to uh, take with us also because we are really, normally we are like really efficient. Yeah. We want everything to be perfect on court, but we cannot do anything perfect. It's, it's really rare uh, that we can do that. So that mindset we, uh, we are trying to yeah, be better at handling. I think in the period after I was a little bit more, not that I didn't care <laughs> about the uh, matches, but I tried to be a little bit more loose, uh, that the focus was still on the process instead of the uh, result all the time. Uh, so, f but still when you get in the, a lot of tournaments now and games or matches all the time, it's, it's difficult to stay in this loose uh, mindset that you want uh, but uh, I still try to keep it in the back of my head all the time uh, that I don't have to criticize myself all the time but uh, but accept that the opponents also have something to say about how the game is going and maybe it's not your day <laughs> every day. <laughs> Next thing for us that we try to hit a high level is the uh, European Championships. Uh, I'm talking a lot about trying to peak at, at there and uh, see if we can handle it, the pressure. And, and get another medal. Yeah. And turn it into gold or silver yeah. this time. <laughs> Instead of a bronze. Yeah. yeah that would be nice. But yeah, yeah, we just hope that if the tournaments are coming like they should uh, be scheduled now, <laughs> we hope it will be like that because then you can prepare a little bit better and have some training in between so you don't have to play all of them together and then have a lo long period of training. It would be nice to have spread a little bit out so you mentally can take everything in. <laughs>